with the Prime Minister met last night in Bangkok with China's President Xi Jinping. The meeting was scheduled for 20 minutes but took nearly an hour. It was their first face-to-face -face meeting since April 2019 and the Prime Minister says she raised concerns regarding Xinjiang, Hong Kong, the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait. Just returned from what was scheduled to be a 20-minute bilateral but turned into the better part of a 50-minute bilateral uh, with President Xi Jinping. You know, the uh, way that I would describe uh, that uh, meeting was constructive. Uh, as I have repeatedly said, I raise um, privately what I raise publicly. We are uh, absolutely consistent and predictable in the bilateral issues that we raise. And so all of those issues that you would expect and that I've raised publicly, I raised in that dialogue. But actually, the bulk of the meeting was spent on issues of the day. Uh, we're obviously uh, at an inflection point in the region where you see today DPRK's uh, uh, decision uh, to uh, launch another missile, uh, one that is allegedly uh, within the EZ of Japan, uh, is again another step up in the escalation in the region and is deeply concerning to New Zealand. It's in no one's uh, interest for us to see uh, a loss of peace and stability in the region. So really bulk of the, the meeting really talking about some of those issues of, of the day and those global tensions. Just to cover off quickly, obviously uh, Kamala Harris, we spent the time uh, as a group uh, across Canada, uh, Korea, Japan, Australia, New Zealand and the United States discussing uh, the escalation we saw by DPRK this morning. Uh, there's been a uh, expression uh, or a registering by the United States um, of the need to convene the Security Council. Uh, we uh, openly support that and will be encouraging all parties uh, to respond positively and to engage through the UN Security Council to uh, discuss those most recent actions by North Korea. When I say that uh, there is a general consensus amongst APEC economies that uh, it's in no one's interest to see an escalation of tensions or a loss of peace and stability, that is a general view. Uh, of course, North Korea is China's neighbour. Uh, it's in no one's interest that we see uh, those tensions increase and uh, an ongoing exchange of, of missiles or indeed just the singular launching of them by North Korea.